Hey guys, what's up? Back again to save you a little money, honey. Okay, so it just so happens that last night I was at Publix and I said, oh, I'm out of the white cauliflower rice. Why did I need white cauliflower rice? Because if you look at my last video, Polo Tropical now has this amazing Picadillo, parentheses, Cuban seasoned ground beef that you can buy by itself and come home and pour it over white rice, brown rice, or if you're keto like me, cauliflower white rice. Now I do have other cauliflowers. Look at my other video about Trader Joe's stir fry cauliflower rice with all the veggies and the seasonings of an Asian restaurant that is amazing. But when it comes time to Cuban picadillo, you wanna have plain white rice or plain white cauliflower so that you can ingest and enjoy the essence Spelled E-S-S-E-N-C-E, -S -S -E -E, triple exclamation points. Sorry about the drooling there. I just get too excited. Anyway, so the worst place to get this is Winn-Dixie and Publix because the prices are high AF. At Walmart, you can get them for $2.49 a bag, the steamable bags, or $1.99, I believe, or $2.25 for the frozen bag that you have to cook yourself to heat up. Aldi's has the best deal where you get them on the steamable bags, I believe, I'm not sure, but anyway, the bag is $1.89. So here I am at Publix looking at the best one that they have and it's $3.49 for 10 freaking ounces. Of course I get pissed, because I know I'm getting ripped off, but I don't have time to go to all these because they're already closed and this was late at night last night. So anyway, as I was looking for a cheaper bag, guess what I found? And I'm gonna show you when we get to the kitchen. They have a 40 ouncer of cauliflower plain cauliflower rice, 40 ounces for $9.99. And then I said, damn, that's expensive. And then when I found the one for $3.49, I said, wait a minute, $3.50 times two is seven. $3.50 times two is seven. If I multiply the seven and the seven, that's 14. So I'm actually paying 10 and saving $4. It's like getting a free bag. See? I'm up in age, but my math skills are right there, baby. So I said, but what am I gonna do with the hassle of how do I know how much to put on the pot? And then I said, wait a minute, I got sandwich bags. All I gotta do is have four sandwich bags with 10 ounces of each in the bag. And now I have me four servings ready in the freezer of cauliflower white rice. So I'm gonna show you the one I bought so that you can mimic that if you happen to be at Publix, don't get ripped off by the normal size ones for $3.49. Just look for the one I'm going to show you. I'm going to put a picture on it too. Okay? So make sure you watch this video. There's good stuff coming. All right, guys. Let's go to the kitchen and I'm going to show you. I've already started the process. I did one back and then I said, hey, video opportunity here. So let's go ahead and do this. Watch this. Okay, guys, let's start the show and tell. Look, I bought me this years ago. Why? Because it's so pretty. Look at the nice blue color. Look how fancy the stainless steel. It just sits on my counter looking pretty. Hardly ever use it. But today it's going to pay itself off. Okay? And then this is the one that I was telling you about. Green freaking giants. If you look right here, I don't know if you can see it. You see that it says uh, 40 ounces. For $9.99 just so that you know it's true what I said and then of course I got my trusty glad sandwich bags that's all we need and now we're gonna get to work and you're gonna watch me do this you ready now the first time I did this can you see me the 
forget it. The first time I did this, I was counting up to 10 spoon sizes of this and it still wasn't 10 ounces. So I think I put like 16. So anyway, we're gonna count together. Okay, step one, open your little baggie. Step two, start dumping. And I don't mean that kind of dumping. Okay, here you go. Can you see? One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so what's ten? Let's measure. Okay, ten is only four ounces. Now, of course, you know, you guys can do whatever amount you want. But I just want to split this into four because when I have anything that I need white rice for, I just do this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I did 15. Let's see. That is showing me almost at eight ounces. 16. 17, 18. That is showing me at eight ounces. So I guess I'm just gonna do 20. Let's see what 20 does. 19, 20. Okay, that's putting me at nine ounces. So let's just, just do 10 because I don't mess around when it comes to my Cuban ground beef. Bam, there it is, 10 perfect ounces. Now how many was that? 20, right? Okay, so this is what it looks like. And then you just put it on the freezer like that. Let's do another one just in case here. We got time. You guys are chilling with me in the kitchen. You know how good I is. Let's open the bag a little bit more. I don't know if I have enough uh, to do two more bags here. I might have been gypped. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't think I have enough, guys. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's check. Almost eight. I'm breaking down the big pieces here. 16, 17, 18, right at eight. Let's just do 20, because I don't know if I'm gonna have enough. 19, 20. Okay, that's right at nine of them. Let's leave it at 20. I'm gonna set this one aside and see if I have left over. Final one. This is the true measure. Okay, so I spilled some of these in here, so I'm gonna add them. This counter has been perfectly clean, so don't be sending me no freaking messages about, why are you doing that, that's not sanitary. Guess what, the comments are off. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oh, I am gonna have enough, guys. Nineteen. 20, what is that? That is nine. So, okay, so it's gonna take about 22, so let's do it. 21, 22. Bingo! There it is, guys, look. 22, can you see it? Can you feel it? Can you believe it? Woo-wee! All right. So this one is perfect like the other one. So let's just put the leftovers on this one. And now I'm thinking I may have a little bit left for maybe another ounce. I went from this and green giant to uh, now having a little more. Let's see, that was three. That puts me at 10 and a little bit more. So let's just put I have a little bit left here. Let's just do one there. Sorry guys, I got a freaking phone call and it knocked the video right off. So, I still got a little bit left, so I'm gonna go back to the last one and put a little bit here. Let's see if I can get enough to do one spoon. Two, a little bit, and final. Okay guys, what do you think? Was I smart about that? Did I do my math correctly? One, two, three, and let me show you proof. There's the one I put on the fridge earlier before I decided to do the video. There you go, guys. So you have it right here. Look for the big poundage. This actually says two and a half pounds right there. Make sure you have some of these. Now you need a weight scale, so get yourself a fancy one that you can leave on the counter looking nice and pretty. And I think that is it. So let me give you a summary. Okay, final summary. Two and a half pounds, buying bulk. Get yourself any cheap, it doesn't have to be glad, pay less. Aldi's, no brand, Walmart, no brand, great value, whatever, Publix brand, whatever's cheapest. And then turn them into these. The average little bag out there is 10 ounces, some are 12. You know, a lot of rip off, uh, Frozen foods are eight ounces, which leave you hungry. But as you can see, you can take a big boy and put it into four servings. Now do yourself a favor, follow my advice, save some green, go to Polo Tropical, if you're lucky enough to have one. Look at my video just below this one. Try that seasoned ground beef over cauliflower rice and you're gonna be crying and singing like me. Okay? Give me a thumbs up, because I'm saving you money. I keep saving you money. Hit the subscribe, hit the little bell, so that you can save money on my next venture. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm here for you. I'm out.